Hello everybody. How you guys doing today? How you guys doing well? Before I start making or doing this video, I have to say I'm sorry for not uploading live streams for a while. Not doing a lot of things. But if we talk about that in a separate video, of a kind of a separate update, because I'm gonna do an update video. Kind of quickie update. I'm not sure what I'm gonna talk. But so I have a topic here to talk is uh Something that I really want to speak up and actually address is people in Red Dead Online think that making gold is difficult or saying that gold, that only money could be only the only currency in Red Dead Online. Now I played Red Dead Online for the past couple months for about since May and I've been playing it consistently and grinding a lot. And prior for me playing Red Dead Online, prior, you know, I didn't know about the Red Dead series. I heard about it, but I never played it. And I've seen videos, and it's a cool series, and everything, Western, Cowboy, and everything. And people have been telling me that, you know, or people I've been hearing, they say they want only money to be the currency. Some people say, like, microphone to gold. Which I wish that happens because I hope like Rossler can make money transfer to gold. But okay, let's just say if one day Rockstar decides to delete all the gold that you have, every all the gold in the game, and not convert to money at all, and keep the money that you have right now. What's gonna happen next? Well, they're gonna overprice everything. Let's just say a gun normally back then costs, let's just say, um, two hundred to three hundred dollars, right? The Evans Repeater, for example, it costs three hundred. Then if you get only money in it, they're gonna cost six hundred or seven hundred. They're gonna double up seven hundred. They're gonna double up the price. They're gonna let the jobs or the role uh, and the roles pay be less. And they're, you know, keep like popping in saying to buy something or whatever. Basically makes it to like a GTA Online 2.0. Being just like GTA Online. This, if that happened, that would be bad. That would actually make me stop playing the game. Because having one currency is bad. Because that's the reason. We're also going to inflate the prices and do all this stuff. Cause it's Rockstar, they want to just definitely squeeze the money like they squeeze GTA Online and GTA Online at a state, even the, like, the recent update, I didn't care for it at all and I told my friends I bought to download the game because it's not worth it Now I've seen the prices of the vehicle, I played the game yesterday cause I rarely, I do is just hop in GTA Online and as well I did heard about the whole you know, glitch, and uh, I didn't do the glitch, so I'm pretty much kind of safe. I'm good. I actually checked it yesterday and say if my account is gone or not, and it's not, so I'm happy about it. And I'm not did the glitch, so because I'm not, you know, a guy that does glitches, I rather just, you know, to earn my legitimately. And I haven't, I don't play really GTA Online much anymore because I was burned out and. They're just getting money in the game is ridiculous and overpricing vehicles and yada yada yada. But anyways, back to the Red Dead Online. Back to Red Dead. Getting gold in that game, as a low level, could be challenging. I myself bought a microtransaction one time to get the Moonshine the Trader. And then, ever since the other roles, I've got all the other roles by grinding. Grind for gold, doing daily challenges. And I'm gonna link you down link down the description about a YouTuber. You know, named the professional. I don't know if you guys didn't heard of it, he's a guy that's legit guides of stuff. And I'll show you in I'll link you down a uh, a video, a ultimate gold guide. He will tell you everything. And I'm of course thank to him. I thank him so much because he helped me through GTA. And right there, I don't know how to get gold. And thanks to him, I get a lot of gold. I right now have a le uh, 111 gold currently right now. I just got it a couple minutes ago. Now, I know what you're thinking. 
why are you grind for gold so much? Don't you think now the gold is enough and wait till the DLC comes in, then you can get the wait in or whatever? I keep grinding because I want to keep a streak going. The daily challenges are like the main hub for getting a lot of gold in the game. Is all you gotta do basically is just build a streak on, do one daily challenge every day and everything, and all that stuff. All the video will be pretty much like all like the details will be linked down below, you know, the video. Which I went watching. And I give to people this video. And really, can you imagine? Just imagine if they inflate the price of everything and gold is gone. It'll be disastrous. It'll be like people will be upset. Yes, people will be upset and angry. Like no like people, no matter what the company does. People can complain. Okay, y'all complain about the gold, now uh, the gold currency being like unlocking, you know, rolls and shit. Y'all being pissed off and angry. Okay, okay, we we'll removed the gold, and then the money came in. Rockstar inflate the price. Y'all gonna be complaining about that as well. That's the problem. Y'all complain about everything. The better, the best thing to do is do just daily challenges. That's all I'm gonna say, and do some stuff. Uh, do the other challenge. That's it. That is all you need to do to get gold in this game. And it was hard for me at first. Trust me, when I heard about the double currency, I just, this is stupid. It'll be dumb. But then, the more I play, the more I understand. The more I get it. And this was for people who want, who play GTA Online. Not a lot, but sometimes. And it's just I don't understand people. I don't understand y'all. I just really don't understand what people's issues with this. I really don't know. It's really ridiculous how freaking people like just you know complain about stuff like that. If you don't like it, I recommend just don't play the game. Not just don't play the online, just play the single player. And pretty much just roster online games are all suck. Like, it's true. It's like definitely sucking with the whole account resetting and glitch thing. It's just their, their online servers are terrible. I hope, hope they definitely do more, like, you know. I hope they, like, do a better online game than this. Because they know Ross are just freaking milking GTA Online all the time. I'm a big, I'm a Rockstar fan. I'm a big Rockstar fan, like everybody else. We all started, a lot of you guys. So myself, start for the PS2 of days, GTA 3, Vice City and all that, to the PS3 from Red Dead Redemption, and Undead Nightmare, and GTA 4, all to now. So down in the description, watch the video, watch the video, and really help me out. And you could do it too. When you watch the video and start grinding for gold for just a little bit, You'll get enough gold, a lot of gold in no time. You'll get a lot, a lot of gold for no time before like the Halloween update. So, you can get enough, a lot of gold. And heck, the property's coming in real soon. Imagine if saying, oh shit, I love, I want that property, I want this property. It's like, oh shit, I got four gold. I spent that last gold because I didn't grind much. And someone who grind got the got the got the mansion or got the good place like you want to have that and they gonna do good buy my micro, transaction really when I hit a hundred gold that proves that you do not need microtransaction you don't need it really you don't need it so yeah that's all I gotta say peace